Hi everybody! So today we will be going over our math game for the month of February, which is exciting. It is the Logic Roots Math Builder Think Plan and Win. I'm quickly just going to open the box, go through, see what we have. So the first thing that we have is a bunch of scorecards. This comes with games for three different levels, intermediate, advanced, and beginner. And on the, there's a little pamphlet that shows you all the different game levels and different games that you can play. And I'm gonna show up you guys a couple of them just to give you a little starter. And then you can explore it on your own. You can also make up your own math games if like that's something that you're interested in or if you need help with a specific topic, you can make up a math game for it. It also comes with this board which is what we're going to be using to play the math games on. And it has grids, which is where our tiles are going to go. The next thing that comes with it is all of these little pieces. I can't tie it. It just comes with the pieces of like multiplication, division, um, different numbers that you can use for it. So like nine or three, two multiplied by Plus, so you can really like make this however, um, whatever level your learning level is currently at. And then it comes with more of these um, making equation pieces in case you need more or you've run out or you're playing with a bunch of friends. So that's what comes in the box. The next clip I'm gonna show you guys some fun games that you can play at home. But if you don't like any of the ones that I show, there are so much more in the pamphlet that you can do that are all gonna be very fun, very exciting while also helping you with your math skills. So let's get on to it. Okay, so for the first game, this is what I have set up so far. I have my first equation, which is three times two equals six. And the goal of this game is to get the two rivers connected with equations that work with each other. So I need something that will either combine three or six or two to add another equation. So I'm gonna choose three for this. And I'm gonna do seven minus four equals three. And that's gonna give me the connecting equation. Then I'm gonna just continue doing this until I reach a river. And then I'm gonna have to go the other way and try to reach that river or that one. And that will be the first person to win the game is the one that connects the rivers. And you can use this with multiplication, addition, subtraction, division, whatever your level of math is at. What's really cool about these math games is that they have two different options for every single game for the beginner, intermediate, and advanced level. So the one that I just showed you is the um, non-competitive one. If you just want to practice your fractions, you can even, I played it by myself, so you can even play it by yourself if you just want to focus on your skills and do it in a fun way and connect those two rivers. But if you want a more competitive experience, if you're having friends over and you guys are all wanting to practice your math skills, then you can do the competitive version, which is where you split all those tiles up in like into groups if you're playing with like four people. I'll do the first um, one, then somebody will have to connect like I did to the existing um, equation. And then the first person that has nine tiles left is the winner. So it's kind of who can build the most complex, the longest, fractions and that will give you the winner which is a really fun way to make math competitive and fun but if you don't want to do that you can just play the other way where you just try to connect the two rivers because everybody's on the same team and you're all trying to work towards that so either way it's very fun I'm going to show one more game and explain it and then I'm going to let you guys go and explore it's such a fun game my friends and I played it I'm 21 so there's options for everybody you can play with your parents you can play with your friends you can play with yourself so yeah so the next game is called Build and it's the expert level. So I'm going to explain the scorecard for this one and kind of give you a little example of how it's going to work. So you start, you get this random pile, a whole pile of the tiles. Everybody in your group draws nine of these blue tiles at random. So I took mine and then the other ones are in here. And then you have a separate pile with your equation pieces that are just for everybody to use. And then you're going to make an equation based on the random nine pieces that you have and then you're gonna write down your score. So we're gonna calculate my score just to help. So I did seven times four equals 24. So if we look, we can see that I, for all the numbers I use, I get one point. So I use four numbers, so I get four points. Then if I use plus or minus, I get two. I didn't use either of those, I use multiplication. 
So for a multiplication or division, it's four points. So, so far I have eight points and then an equal sign doesn't get any points. So I would write Gabby and then I would write how many points I have. And you keep going around the circle. The youngest person starts first and the person at the end of the game with the most points is the winner. And after you run out of your tiles, just draw nine more.